What is going on, Knox Nation, Knight Nation, the nations, the UN, the fucking G Summit is in the building right now because we have another nation coming through. Harry, what are what are your fans called, bro? What are, what are your fans? You know what, man? I don't know. There have been various proposals for what they should be called. Some people call themselves Mackers. Mackers. Uh, some people, you know, the the, the Macalites. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I just call them the Mac Fam. You know, because it's family. The Mac, the Mac Fam. I like that. I like that. We got the fam. But in here the building. today, it's the Mac Nation. Here today, it's the <laughs> Mac Nation, right? I mean, thanks, I'm a guest thanks. on. I'm a guest on your show. So hell yeah. So welcome, welcome, Mac Nation. As you can see, we got Harry Mack here for our special podcast. Stevie Knight is in the building. Stevie Knight, say what's up, man. What's happening, family? What's going on, everyone? Thank y'all for pulling up. Uh, I got lucky enough to pull up as well, man. Has some shit going on in the background. As you can see, I'm not in my uh, regular Yeah, where's all your artistic man? lights and shit, Stevie? I'm not, I'm not seeing bruh, any of that right bruh, now. Bro, I got this fucking... <laughs> I got this beige ass. I tried to fucking have like the little scenic view in the back, man, but the damn sun is too popping, bro. But uh, I'm, out, I'm, out, I'm out here in Kauai, Hawaii. Had to uh, take my girl out here on a little birthday trip. I surprised her and shit. So I've been off the grid for a little bit, man. But I still had to tap in for the Nation podcast. You know how we get down. Hell yeah. Hell yes, yeah, sir. man. Well, yeah, thanks for yeah. living your best life right now. Thanks for making yeah, it work, man. man. I'm out here getting and and hopefully you yeah, make your bro. flight later on. Hopefully you make that flight, bro. Oh no, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to catch a flight as soon as I fucking uh, tap out of here, man. So we in here though. Let's go. So welcome That's in, good. welcome in, Harry. Who listen, man? You might you might disagree because you are very humble. But I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. We have the the goat freestyler here right now. <laughs> that is that is greatest oh, of man. all time, people. And I mean that. Listen, when you can when you can freestyle. For 10 hours, non-fucking-stop, <laughs> and just go off of chat and go off of topic after topic after topic until you can do that and just come with the fucking bars, the flows, the switches, and keep it going, nobody can talk to me about you, man. No way. Hey, man. No way. I appreciate that, bro. I appreciate it. That's huge love, obviously, man. So I'm going to do my best to live up to that, bro, for real. Man. Stop Appreciate being it. humble, bro. You already know you the fucking goat in this bitch, bro. Come on, dog. <laughs> we, we 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 brought that shit up the last podcast, bro. Like, I mean, you yeah. new to it relatively as far as like being known. You know what I'm saying? Because right, you right, just right. not making waves on that shit, bro. I know you've been doing it for a long time, but we brought that shit up last podcast, dog. There's nobody fucking with Mac on no freestyle shit. I'm Yo, sorry. Man. So you can you can sit up here and be all cute about it, and say, "Oh, I'm so humble, bro." <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Thank oh, you, man. this, that, and the third, dog. You smoking all these motherfuckers out here, bro? Oh, no, I appreciate. I appreciate you, bro. I appreciate you. You know what it is, man? It's like, I'm sure, you know, I'm sure, like, Knox, you can relate to this, too, doing records and everything. It's like, we're our own worst critic, you know what I mean, yeah. as artists and creators. And, and Steve, I'm sure you know, too, just putting the videos yeah. together and stuff. You know, it's like, I'm always like, ah, you know, there's so much I got to work on. There's so much I got to improve. And I think also, like, you know, I'm still kind of like in that childlike spirit of, like, feeling yeah. like the first time I heard Illmatic. Or like the first time I heard, you know, whatever the fuck, the first time I heard The Roots or the first time I heard Eminem or just, you know, these moments where it was just like, I'm never going to touch that is how I felt back when I was in sixth, seventh grade. You know, it's like these guys are like gods and superheroes. And so no matter how far I come, you know what I mean? That's still sort of locked in my brain where it's like, yo, I mean, yeah, there's me and I'm trying, I'm doing my thing, whatever. But then there's these gods up here that, and, and I always see it that way. And I think, you know, part of it is this imposter syndrome thing. And part of it is this being your own worst critic and never really being able to see yourself in that light. But, uh, but anyway, I appreciate the love that you guys are giving me, man, for real. And I do know that I'm working really, really hard oh, to improve. Hell yeah. So, you know, I'm proud of what, I'm proud of what I'm doing, man. And I, I know I'm dope. I mean, but, I mean, uh, yeah. I mean, as a, as, as an artist, Harry, as as an artist and then i'll let, yeah. I'll let stevie chime in i feel like especially watching you and it, it happens with me too like we walk away from the mic we we have our insecurities but once that beat comes right. on right and once it's time and you know right. eyes are on you there's just i don't know yeah. it all it, it's all gone isn't it it's like it's almost like a different sort of personality in person that is that is on that microphone so yeah i i feel a lot of the same way like you know i i stay humble yep. i stay thankful for my position for the fans that i have but when it's when it's fucking yeah. go time it's go time you know there oh, is there it's, is, it's there on, is no holding you know, back 100 percent. and there's no mindset that's gonna uh the only mindset that's gonna serve you when you grab the mic to to rhyme is i'm the greatest mc on the planet 
It has Th- to. That's the only mindset that's going to, even if it's your fucking first rap or mm. your second rap ever, and you, you're you definitely not, you know, even if you're not even dope, why would you be in any other mindset? When you touch that mic, it's like, you're the shit. You're the greatest on the planet. And that's the only mindset that, in my opinion, is going to allow you to, to to put your best foot forward. And it's like RZA said in the, in the Wu-Tang manual, man, which I have on my shelf back here. But uh, RZA said, you know, every rapper in the world, thinks they're the best rapper in the world. And that's yeah. that's how it has to be. That's that's hip hop, you know, from it's the a, very beginning. It's a the competitive Braganosha, sport. The battle. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. But I, so think, I, think, I think in your situation is a bit different though, dog, because there's only like a handful of motherfuckers that can say that shit and most people would be inclined to agree that that you're right. You know what I'm saying? Because right. like you, you compare yourself to like other rappers, MCs that are out here making songs and shit, which I'm, I'm, you right. do, but you have made this own, this own lane for yourself that nobody on this earth is touching. You know what I'm saying? Right. So like when you, so when right. you really say that shit, I'm the fucking greatest at this shit. It's like facts. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It ain't like, <laughs> it ain't, it ain't, it, but no, because it's not like, it, I, I understand what you're saying. Like if you're not going to believe right. in yourself, nobody will. And that's where all that yeah. shit right. comes from. You got, you got to believe yourself right. for the most. But that's just a general rule of thumb. Everybody should go with. But it's right. just, I, I, it's, it's a coincidental, ironic, or whatever you want to call it in this in this situation here, bro. Because I'm trying to think. I was going to ask you that. Like, I know you want to k- keep this humble position, but like, if you think about other people, which I'm sure you're aware of, that do this freestyle shit, do you feel like there's anybody even close to what you're doing right now? Oh hell yeah, I do. I, I mean, I think there's cats that that are that are dope as fuck that that are better at certain aspects of it than me. Like, like, I think, like, for example, you take a King Los, right? Yeah. He's better at, at, at freestyling than me in certain aspects of it, right? And then I have what I bring. It's like different cats have different things that they're good at. Like, Los is so good at stretching words and rearranging words and finding, like, double entendres within mm. shit and flipping shit on its head and spazzing. Right. Like he's so good at that part of it. Uh, I'm really good at like the incorporation of random shit, like, you know, seeing shit and bringing it in, seeing words and bringing it in. And I'm, I'm good at um, the rhythmic, like smoothness of it to where it sounds like it has a pocket that a written verse would have. You know, that's kind of what I feel like my strength is the most is that it's like my rhythm is on point and the, 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 the bars land in a space where it's like, yo, it sounds like you wrote that. That's my goal anyway, right? Is to make it sound like I might have written it that way. And so, you know, yeah, low spaz is on a crazy level, you know? I mean, and in my mind, like, again, just the superhero thing, like I came up, you know, trying to fucking figure out how Super Nat was doing what he did. I came up trying to figure out how Juice, uh, not Juice World, who's also phenomenal, uh, rest in peace, but but Juice from Chicago, you know, trying to figure out how he was doing, uh, I guess they're both from Chicago, right? But anyway, uh, the- Chicago, the, uh, got a lot of, Chicago got a lot of dope freestylers, bro. Yeah, <laughs> they yeah. had a lot of them. Yeah, definitely. But uh, no, nah, man, I, I'm really proud of what I what I've built and I, I know that I contribute my own voice to freestyling and I know that I'm pushing to do things that have never been done in the freestyle space. So uh, 100%, like I, I uh, you know, I, I'm humble, but I also am very proud I and mean, I'm aware, you know, of I mean, what we, I'm doing. We, we so, definitely yeah. have to, uh, we, we got to take some credit here in MD for uh, for King Los, man, who is an absolute dope, uh, dope MC as well. And uh, I mean, that that's the thing though, Harry, is that, yeah, I'm not I'm not arguing that point with you at all. I mean, that man is just crazy lyrical. The, the yeah, yeah. way that he can bend schemes and words. I mean, th- like you sit there. Plus and you his do written like, shit is fire as fuck yeah, too. Yeah, like his written shit. Like you, know? you go rhyme book that shit and like every other fucking word rhymes. And just the complex multi-syllable schemes. It's yeah. just, he, he's on another level. But He's bananas. Yeah, shout but, out to Los. But at the same time, Harry, what, what you're doing right now in this moment in time, there's going to be a lot more people here in this space and a lot of people, yeah. you know, next generation coming up when they are asked who the next freestyler is they're not saying king Lowe's. they're going to be saying harry mack because you have created that awareness i mean your youtube is blown up now congrats on hitting over yeah. a million subscribers but i mean you Thank are you, basically creating like this sort of brand new awareness for freestyling that a lot of people didn't necessarily appreciate before or didn't see because most of the time when they get yeah. fed freestyles like it's the fucking radio freestylers like the la leakers right. when we know that most of that shit is written anyways then all of a sudden they see right. you just reacting in the moment like Omega bars and, you know, just talking about the shit that's happening right there at that moment in time or doing your lives where you're just going off of the donos and it just opens right. up a whole new world. And I think I think that's what's what Stevie's talking about, too, is that you you really are creating this awareness and, and creating sort of this this genre, I guess you could say, that that wasn't necessarily there before. It wasn't looked at in the same man. way. 
and and I'm 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 proud of that and I'm passionate about that for real because I think you know what what I'm most proud of is that we're building a lane for other great freestylers and improvisers mm. to have like a basically like a model like there's a path like yo you can make it doing what you do best you yeah. know what I mean you don't have to go the traditional path you don't have to you know uh, write a thousand songs till you figure out how to write a good song, have a pop and single, go to radio, you know, leverage that to go on tour, drop an album, hope you can keep that momentum going, uh, get signed, you know, get put in a vault, uh, career deteriorates, whatever. Like you don't have to go that traditional path. Yeah. There's other options. And I think um, that's something that was sort of like plaguing all these like incredible legendary freestylers through history cats mm. who just have unprecedented talent and and in their time had unfathomable talent and abilities to improvise and freestyle the industry was just like all right yeah you're dope but i don't know what to do with it so Thanks. i'm not gonna touch it you know and so it's like man these cats who are so fucking incredible um who the world needs to know about are not given that platform just because they're not into like writing hooks <laughs> you know yeah. what i mean and, and like making like popping songs and shit like that they're they're jazz improvisers, right? Like at the end of the day, they're like John Coltrane in this shit. They, yeah. they, it's like, it's different every time. It's new every time. It's it's the energy of the improv and it's contagious. You put those cats on a stage in front of people, you know, it's explosive. Absolutely. Everybody leaves the event and they're like, yo, that motherfucker stole the show. You know, um, you put Super Nat on for 10 minutes before Wu-Tang and what do people remember the most? I mean, of course, yeah, they love singing along with Cream and enough respect to Wu, right? Of course, that was epic. Yeah, yeah. But the thing they talk about the most is how Super Nat did a fucking bar about the dude's hat falling off his head in the same second that it happened right and yeah. so like to me that is so important and it's just an element of the game that has just been slept on and so i'm really really excited and passionate about being able to use these tools like youtube and instagram and fucking mm. tiktok and any platform that exists on the internet to be able to um create a path and like freestyling is going fucking viral you know oh, what yeah. i mean and i know i played a role in that and i'm super proud of that you know but if you go on tiktok now there's hundreds of motherfuckers doing three word freestyles on TikTok, you know, and a lot of them aren't really freestyling it, but fucking who cares, man? The yeah. point is the concept the of going off top. The trend is it's there. like, yeah, it's popping right now and people have a new appreciation for it. And that's kind of what I'm trying to do. It's like the same way that like jazz is so slept on, you know, jazz is like 5% of the, the music industry, you know, hmm. sales or whatever. Right. <laughs> Even though the, the level of musicianship um, is like, astronomically higher than than most other genres right and so it's like that shit should not be slept on and that's how i feel about off top freestyling i've i've definitely noticed that with a lot of your um your production that you choose for your freestyles you yeah. have a lot of jazz instrumentation in there you have a lot of that no doubt you know older soul to it you got a little bit of that rhythm and blues as well i, I is that 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 production by the way i wanted to ask you because i didn't get to mm. last time we talked um, do yeah. you have like a certain tempo space that is like your ideal sort of freestyle pockets that just, you know, that you kind of shoot for with your beat selection and what you do, or is it, is it, do you, yeah. do, do you go off cuff or, or what do you, do you have just go on? Great question. Yeah. I mean, I like to mix it up, you know, cause mm. like when I'm improvising, it's nice to be surprised and to have different tempo switches and stuff. But you know, if I'm being honest, man, like my bread and butter, so to speak is like. 90 bpm you know yeah. like like i'd say like 85 to 95 bpm yeah. like dilla fucking boom bap pocket you know boom, God, boom, boom. beats like that i'm like oh yeah man that that's the shit where it's like in my heart and when i hear it i'm like oh i want to freestyle right now you know but i also love to experiment with like more modern sounding shit trap beats you know uh mm. i'm, I'm kind of known for doing like the triplet rhythms and the double time rhythms off top which again is something that i feel like wasn't really done so much yeah. um, previously, like in an off top setting. And so that was exciting to me to try to be like, yo, let me flip like some of these faster styles, but 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 keep it where I'm incorporating random words and shit like that. So I, I love to mix it up, but yeah, man, I'm, I'm like a boom bap baby, bro, for some reason. I mean, I was born in 1990, so like, I was four when Illmatic dropped. It's I wasn't 90s hearing it then. Baby, man. You know what I mean? Like I wasn't, I wasn't onto hip hop yet. So I kind of like, for whatever reason, I went back and I mm. like did the sort of like, the homework on the on the previous era and for whatever reason man like that spoke to me the deepest so it, it feels like um that that was sort of like my music even though it really wasn't like that was that was before me yeah you know what i mean, I mean speaking speaking on your effect yeah. like your your fallout freestyle effect on tiktok and shit i mean shit even on my lives now i'm freestyling yeah. on my lives and i think 
you've, no doubt. you've kind That's of pushed dope. that, but it made me think about production because I'm sitting there working on beats for the freestyles. And I found okay. that it's funny that you said that, like the 85, 90, 95 is like that ideal kind of pocket. You could just do so much with yeah. it in terms of you can speed it up easily. You can slow it down. You can push that gas exactly. just wherever you want, man. So that, that's 100%, a, that's, man. That's, that's, that's interesting to know. Hey, um, as you were saying, like you, you are, you're trailblazing this whole different lane for specific artists right now, right? Yeah. Yeah. But, um... It's like you raise, <laughs> bro. You do it different because you raising the fucking bar so high, dog. You know what I'm saying? So like for like all these other people that I, because personally I haven't seen anybody that has been remotely close to the type of shit you're doing. You know, cons consistently as long as you have, bro. So like, like um, <laughs> I feel like, bro. It's like you you are the one fucking person to do this freestyle and shit. To, to give attention to this area of rap, but you do it so much better than everybody. It's like, this is some fucking big ass shoes to fill for other <laughs> artists to take attention away from what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I kind of felt like you were selling yourself short when you was talking about, like, I'm good at this, this one, like, you know, the, you know, catching certain beats, catching certain, certain pockets, whatever, bro. Cause yeah. a motherfucker, a motherfucker will, you, you observe shit incorporate in the rap, but you'll scheme the fuck out that damn uh, incorporation. Or you'll double yeah, or right, triple right. that, you'll double or triple that shit out of us uh, initial observation, just like that, bro. And yeah. it's like, like, I'm so glad that, that like <laughs> you are bringing attention to, to what's being, what needs to have attention brought on it right now, bro. Right. But I still feel like, you know, Los, Ain't fucking with you. <laughs> uh juice ain't fucking with you. Uh and I, I feel like you've also found like the perfect pocket to like get as much and as quickly as you can from from your gift, bro. You know what I'm saying? You created Word. it's not it's not even a it's not even it's like you could do this shit to you 80. Right. You know what I'm saying? You could do this shit literally to your 80, bro, and it, it's new every time and it just is yeah. captivating every time. Like the shit don't get old. You know what I'm saying? And that's yeah. and like and that's that's like it's one thing to freestyle, you know what I'm saying, and, and entertain the audience, but you keep them the keep them engaged. It's people yeah. from so different backgrounds all over the world who may not know shit about hip hop, don't know who right. the fuck you are. You could talk to a three year old, you could talk to a 73 year old in fucking Ghana, and they're gonna be like, what the fuck is wrong with this fool? You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like, like right. it's 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 different, bro. It's different, man. So like I, yeah. it's it's crazy with the shit you're doing, man. And I, I'm still on the same shit I was initially, bro. Like <laughs> you sell it. I, I, you being humble, you being humble. But I'm <laughs> like, if I was Harry Mac, dog, I'd be out here talking my shit, bro. Like ain't nobody. You know what? Stevie, you need to get him a t-shirt, bro. bro. You need to get his ass a t-shirt, uh, bro. It's wild, bro. Oh, like like, I like you got you got a, you got a million subs, but you deserve every fucking sub you got. You probably ain't even got enough, dog. Like it's gonna keep going, bro. Like you an animal, bro. It's, it's ridiculous. Hey. Thank you, man. Well, we're definitely going to keep building the YouTube, bro. We're just getting started, man. And, and you know what it is, bro? Like, I talk my shit in the freestyles. You yeah. know what I mean? I save it I for when I'm, right. when I'm rapping. Facts. When I'm rapping, I say it all. You know, I Facts. enter that I enter that mode and, and I get it all out there. Like, that's what's funny about me is cats are like, bro, you know what I like about you is you're the most humble cat ever. Like, you never diss anybody. I'm like, bro, 95% of the shit I'm rapping about is other MCs are How much are fucking better fuck you are than them I'm when the you're doing it, yeah. And like, can't nobody <laughs> fuck with me. Like, that's my go-to shit. Whatever word you throw, giraffe, I'm going to talk about how I'm snapping whack rappers like the neck of a giraffe. You know, it's like, yeah. it's like that's my whole fucking mode. So I'm very yeah. much ob obsessed with the shit talk. It's you know, like, in yeah. terms of like, my perspective on hip hop, uh, what I like, you know, cause like all uh, so much of the nineties shit was that the braggadocia battle rhymes, you know what I mean? Mm, on yeah. records, it was just talking shit about how you, you know, my shit is about how I'm dope at rapping for the most part. Yes. And, uh, it's, occasionally you, it'll you, get you, some... you do, you do got that, the friendly vibe too, though. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, they probably no get doubt. like, like yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm talking, shit, I'm, I'm talking shit, I'm talking shit, but I'm smiling yeah. like you motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's it's, it's disarming, I, man. I'm having so much fun, man. Yeah, I'm having so yeah. much fun doing what I love. I can't help but smile, you know. And yeah. at the end of the day, I don't actually hate motherfuckers. Like I don't, I don't actually think every other rapper is whack. That would be crazy. Like I'm a huge yeah. fan of so many rappers. You know, like yeah. I don't think Andre Three K is whack. Right, like I don't think yeah. fucking Black Thought is whack. Like I love yeah. those. I'm I'm in awe of those cats. So so yeah, it's just um, it's my voice though in hip hop, and I think it's an important part of the culture. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Now, uh, let me let me ask you a quick one, Harry. Um, yeah. In terms of, see, you spend so much time freestyling and creatively. I mean, we are 
what we consume. You know, whether that's the right. from the music that we listen to, to the movies that we watch, to what we read in the news. You know, what I, I find that whatever I fill my head with at some point in time, it, it will come out creatively. And obviously, yeah, if, yeah. You're, if you're improvising, you can only draw off of what you know. So um, yeah. I think I think this is an interesting question, like a lot of up and coming rappers ass and like freestylers, like in terms of your day outside of yeah. practicing freestyling like what do you do to like what what do you fill your headspace with what, what what do you do to to help you grow and and sharpen your skills in terms of your knowledge base for freestyling yeah man um great question yo like so it's interesting i used to basically just listen to music constantly and that was because I, I didn't like reading like when i was young you know like middle school high school even through college i really didn't fucking like reading yeah. um because i you know i have a short attention span and stuff i'm all over the place you know that's why i like freestyling but um yeah i would just listen to records and like that's where i got my knowledge mm. and information from like that's why i'm so grateful for hip-hop in general because like that's where I learned about shit. Like, that's how I learned about the world. Like, fucking the fucking, um, you know, uh, Wu-Tang joined uh, Socrates philosophies and, you know, whatever. I'm like, who's Socrates? <laughs> you know, what the fuck? So, like, that's how I learned about shit was, like, hearing different references in rap songs and then, like, looking up who that is mm. on Wikipedia and being like, oh, that's dope. Okay, he's talking about this. Um, so, for the longest time, it was that. But now, like, in the last, like, I would say six or seven years, I've actually, like, gotten really into reading Right. Um, both actually, actually like reading and then also, uh, you know, like audio books on audible. So I'm always reading something or listening, you know, to, to a book. Um, and it's like a lot of nonfiction really excites me, you know? So like Malcolm Gladwell shit, or like, hmm. I just listened to Sapiens, which is like a mind blowing book. It's also like a heavy dose of truth. So be careful with that one. By the end, I was like, Oh my God, like had me feeling cynical about a lot of things, but, um, really, really dope book. And uh, yeah, man, I'm, I, I read, I ingest information. I'm fascinated by things, you know? I'm fascinated by AI and technology. I'm fascinated by, um, you know, addiction and, and, and habit loops and patterns and what draws us into things and why do we do the things that we do, you know? I'm, I'm, I'm fascinated by, um, you know, uh, music and craft uh, and all kinds of different things, you know what I mean? So I'm always trying to learn and I think that's my biggest gift as a freestyle gift to me as a freestyler is that I've always been into learning, you know, um, even when I was a kid, I didn't always really like school. Like I didn't like what they were telling us we should care about learning, but I've always been seeking information. And uh, yeah, the shit that I read comes out of my freestyles, like directly. Like you, there's like, like you'll hear like in the, in the like streams or whatever, somebody will ask a question about something and I'll get all excited and like, I can actually talk about it for an extended amount of time it's because like, I just learned about that or it's something I really know about, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, you, you have to keep filling the, uh, filling the, the well. Yeah. Right? I mean, I mean with, some with of the words that you that come you up with about. to rhyme with, I mean, you have to have an extensive ass vocabulary, man. You have to have a, a certain level of, of intellect to be able to flip some of the shit that you flip sometimes. Cause you definitely, I mean, there's some challenging stuff that you get put and it's just so effortless the way that you uh, can handle Word. it. And, and Stevie, you and I talked about this with, uh, with Eminem, and one of the reasons why he, we think that he stays on top and stays so great is that it's not just the work that he puts into the pen game. It's because of how he stays so informed on things um, and just what he fills mm. kind of his headspace with. And he spends a lot of time doing a shit ton of research and a shit ton of stuff taking care of his mental and sharpening his mind outside of the lyrics as well. Big facts. Yeah. You have to. Um, you have to. Outside of you actually freestyling on camera, are you still freestyling like off the camera to keep the oils yeah. running? 100%. Yeah, like I love practicing. And so like to be honest, uh, I'm like in and out of a solid practice routine depending on how busy my life is. And, you know, we're obviously pushing really, really hard um, on the business side and trying to grow and trying to expand and, and be everywhere at once. So there's times where, I just don't have the time to get it in on the practice tip. But man, I'm obsessed with practicing. I'm obsessed with working on the craft. Like honestly, cause I'm an addictive personality, you know what I mean? And it's led me down some, some 
bad paths, but it's also allowed me to accomplish some incredible things. Um, yeah. So, you know, it's a blessing and a curse. But yeah, man, I've been obsessed with practicing since I started playing the drums in fifth grade. My first instrument was the violin. I was not obsessed with practicing that. I, I wasn't really a fan. My dad had to make me practice. I would like cry and shit. Like, I don't want to play the violin, you know, whatever. Um, but <laughs> shout out to my dad for, for getting me started on music anyway. And by the time it was the drums, man, it was like, all I want to do is go down in the basement and play. Um, like my mom's begging me to come up for dinner and shit like that. And all I could think about was working on it. And, and rapping came at the same time. And I'm still that way. So, yeah, um, just yesterday, man, I was practicing for like two hours uh, in the morning, running all these different drills and, 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 and things that I work on. And to be quite honest with you, man, to do the things that I'm doing um, or at least the things that I want to be doing within freestyle, you have to practice it. There's, there's no way hmm. to get there otherwise. So, like, if you watch my journey, like if, if you go back to like Venice Beach, freestyle part one which came out in february 2017 right the technique like it was cool like it, at the time it was super dope and 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 it was I, i'm downplaying it it was fucking awesome and it opened up so many doors for no me. there like, you go there you go that's what no, that's what it. got me that's what got me on for yeah yeah yeah, yeah right no you're right it was yeah. epic man it was i mean yeah. it got fucking 20 million views on facebook yeah. or something and it, it got yeah. me on fucking um power 106 with joey badass mm. it got me on the powerhouse festival lineup Andrew. first act harry Mack's gonna freestyle for five minutes to Hell open yeah. for big sean and lil wayne you know it got yeah. me next to kendrick lamar it got me on the fucking ellen show like that yeah. was all off the strength of venice part one but if yeah. you you compare that to fucking to the Meagle Bars 40, I wasn't sure. fucking grabbing the word and scheming. I yeah. wasn't fucking going in and out of different flow patterns. I wasn't ever telling a narrative story. And damn near every couplet started with, hey, yo, it's Harry Mack. Or yeah. a one-time Harry Mack, right? Damn near every couplet. So you don't go from that to what I'm doing now without putting a fuck ton of work in. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't just magically happen. Like, and when I talk about practicing, right, this is something that people, under, I always think of like fucking AI, we talking about practice. But when I, when I talk about practicing, it's not like I put beats on and freestyle. And then I do that for half an hour. And then I'm like, all right, cool. It's like regimented shit, like like um go on, give us something. that give I've us, created. Go on, give us something. That work on specific things. Uh, so there's give, a whole bunch us, of give them, us right? Give um, go like, on. So like, here's an exercise uh, uh, for, you know, beginners, right? Is like a lot of what I do is, is based on this setup punchline concept, hmm. right? Which is, you know, when, when I first started freestyling, I was very reactionary. So you'd see the phone and you just start with that. Yo, this cat's got a phone. And now I'm going to go eat a scone. What, what? You know, it just sends you off on some random path. You try to come up with something that rhymes with phone. Um, but then through studying the great supernatural juice, et cetera, I realized they were often flipping it on its head. So they would put phone second. So you set it up with something that rhymes. Every time I'm spitting, I'm staying in my zone. All my lyrics about to stay connected like a phone. Right. So mm. you put this target word second and you're always leading into it. And so what that does is it is it puts it's time to think. Um, yeah, it gives you a bit of time to think, and it gives you this this really powerful structure. Whatever it, comes at the end of the harder. second line, it hits harder. Exactly, Definitely. exactly. The la the end of the second line is a power position, so whatever goes there is going to be explosive. So that's the basic concept. So you know that alone took me like three years to figure out how to do that fluidly, mm -hmm. right? And 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 usually it required me to start with a filler phrase like "Hey yo, it's Harry Mack." Hey yo, it's Harry Mack. I'm staying in the zone. All of my lyrics stay connected like a phone. Mm. Hey yo, it's Harry Mack. I make you understand. I keep a microphone all locked in my hand. Hey yo, it's Harry Mack. You know I'm staying great forever. My bar stretched like a tape measure. Hey yo, it's Harry Mack. Right? And it was always that. Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, it's Harry fucking Mack. Right? Which actually worked from a marketing standpoint because motherfuckers knew my name by the end of that. <laughs> I never forget. Three minute shit. freestyle. You were you weren't gonna forget who it was. So, so the, then the exercise is, okay, don't use a filler phrase there. So like an exercise that I did intermediately was just leave the space. So if your beat's like right here, doom, ka, doom, doom, ka, mm, mm. I'm staying in the zone. All of my lyrics, they connected with a phone. Mm, mm. These rappers down and out. I'm a man. Most of y'all are puny like a mouse. Mm, mm. I'm about to drive them crazy. Staying cool like the remote for my AC, uh, whatever it was, right? So it's just like, leave a gap where I would say, hey, yo, it's Harry Mack, leave a gap. And so I practiced that for, you know, months, right? And then it was like, okay, now I don't have that habit anymore, right? So now the next evolution is let me replace it with real content about the shit that I'm saying. So instead of leaving mm. a space where it would have been, mm, 
mm, rappers getting mad at me. Now it's like, I piss them all off. These rappers getting mad at me. You know what I'm saying? Extra charge like a battery. I turn to a statue. You cats don't move me. I be boosting your health just like a smoothie. I'm the bragger, the egotistic boaster. Word to this here, I'm a straight West Coaster. Still. You know? Hey. <laughs> you know we like those so, bars yeah. around here. Bruh, that's crazy, bruh. It's all, so it's all... It's all like trial and error, man. You just mm. just built this whole freestyle school in your mind, bro. I That's love wild, and, bro. And, and I, I think uh, it, dr drumming, you know, you coming up as a drummer as well. Like even there, yeah. when you're spitting acapella, like your internal metronome. I mean, you were you were just right there on that beat, just so well sitting right. in that pocket with what you're doing. I mean, how much has drumming influenced? We talked about this a little bit the last time that we talked, but like you, I, I yeah, catch yeah. that from you, man. Those triplets, some of those polyrhythms, some of those schemes that you come with. Definitely, I, I hear yeah. the drummer through your voice dude it's 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 such a huge part of it <laughs> like mm -hmm. it's kind of like unfair like and and that's the thing is like i always like because i've done some teaching you know and i'm actually working on educational materials now by the way that, that are going to sort of uh like courses that will explain all these different techniques and, and ways the cats can practice oh, but the thing go. is yeah but when i was with my student yes yeah, so keep your eye out for that you know uh but uh <laughs> but anyway when i was with students man it just kind of, it was like, yo, I'm not going to tell this cat that wants to freestyle, like, hey, go play the drums for 15 years. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, that's such a, that's such a, like, Mr. Miyagi with the wax on, wax off, but, but to the, to the extreme, like, oh, you want to freestyle? Buy a drum set, take drum lessons and get back to me in 20 years. Like, obviously that's, that's fucked up and I'm not going to do that. Right. And you don't have to do that. Jay-Z has incredible rhythm and he's not a drummer, you know, Black Thought has incredible rhythm and he's not a drummer. So it's not required, but I will say, man, like it is the craziest fucking cheat code that you could ever imagine. And oh, here's why yeah, I'm a jazz drummer, bro. Ooh. I'm a jazz drummer. That means I, my language is improvised yeah. rhythm. Like literally, that's what I studied in college. I played thousands of gigs, restaurants, bars, stages, performances, venues, like thousands of shows toured as a jazz drummer, which means it's different every night. You're on stage with other musicians and you're speaking the language of rhythm and also harmony and melody, but as a drummer, just rhythm. So that is flow, right? Oh, yeah. Like the definition of that's what oh, that yeah. is. And so it's not that hard to go from that to grab on the mic, rip it, fall up, win. I get my shit going, blowing like the wind, turn it the dub, turn it the down. I'm here going the round, right? Even if it's bullshit and not really Yeesh. about anything, that thing is just running in the background and it's giving me this foundation that is like um, just incredibly, incredibly essential to me doing it the way that I do it. Yeah, and being, and being a That's jazz drummer fire, too, like bro. you sometimes, That's you know, especially improv, <laughs> improvising, you come like just behind the beat sometimes, it gets laid back. Yeah. Like you can really, you right. go all over the place with the rhythm. So that that makes more sense now right. with uh, kind of the way you flow sometimes. And, and sometimes you'll, you'll, you won't, you'll get a little bit out in front of the beat. Sometimes you'll get just a little behind the beat, I see. And then you always bring it yeah. back around. I definitely I definitely see that. That's, uh, that's dope to know, man. No doubt. No doubt. And because one other thing, too, on that. Oh, my bad. Real quick. I was going to say, um, I'm all about you, you internalize a skill till you put it in the background, right? Mm. It's just like um, you don't have to think about walking. Right when you were fucking that's two or whatever. That's a bar, like, bro. It, it was <laughs> when you when you were two. It was hard. Or I don't know. When do you learn to walk? Do you learn to walk at one? Sheesh. I don't know how old you. But anyway, when you take your first step, you're like concentrating and you step and then you fall. Yeah. Right? Imagine if it was like that now. Like, all right, I got to go get something from the kitchen. Oh fuck! Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Which you know, way does that foot go? Step, you got to concentrate. You keep falling. Like, of course not. Right? You can walk down the street and be on a critical business call that's mm. going to save your make or break your company and you're walking down the street dodging other human beings hearing car horns right you know hopping over a puddle and you're on there <laughs> at this level talking about no motherfucker we are not going to go public right now we are not ready, right or whatever it is so like you're not thinking about walking right like Kobe Bryant wasn't thinking about dribbling. Hmm. He didn't have to think about dribbling. He's thinking about making the play and fucking hitting the fucking game winning three pointer with less than a second on the clock. That's where his mind is at. He's not thinking of, he's not like, throw it down, get it back, throw it down, get it back. Can you imagine how much brain power that would take? So the drumming is like, I take all of rhythm, 
<laughs> and through years and years and years of repetition and practice and performing, I push rhythm to the background. So I don't have mm. to think about rhythm. And that yes. is just like an unfair cheat code. And so <laughs> to all freestylers, I would say, start learning an instrument. You know, you don't have to play it for 20 years or do a professional gig, but any, any amount of, of instrumental training is going to help. That's, That's fire, bro. It's like you just thinking in rhythms before you even spit the bar out, dog. You're going to exactly. eat anybody yeah. up, bro. That's wild, dog. <laughs> That's wild. It's, he's just saying he he just he just compared it to walking, bro. Like you already did before I got you, bro. Like I walked this shit, bro. That's right. fire, dog. <laughs> Right, right, right. Thank you, bro. That's fire. Word, word, word. That's fire. I mean, I definitely, uh, I, I definitely with, uh, with my shit, and I get it a lot too. Like people are like, wow, just watching your sort of progression, kind of like people talking about your amigo bars. And I attribute a lot of that to, yeah. I started working on drumming, and I started working yeah. with a drummer, and that's how I started to learn. Yeah. You start processing rhythms before you even get into your words, and you know, like exactly. six, seven, eight, nine, ten different ways to attack that beat. The second it starts playing, you learn when that one is, and you yeah. just know how to fucking ride it from there. And you're right; it gets to the that's point right. where you practice and practice, and it just becomes second nature. So yeah, yeah, and it probably the... go, ahead, go, go ahead, ahead, go ahead. I said no, it probably even. Go ahead, my bad, dog. <laughs> Stevie, go. I'm, not said it, I'm saying it probably with you doing it like that, it, it'll it, it lets you get away with like saying bullshit sometimes because you already got the audience engaged from how the rhythm's going out, bro. You know what I'm saying? You can say whatever it is, as long as it sounds like da 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 they, Oh my god, that's fire. That's 100%, dope, bro. Hundred percent. It's easy to fool people if you have good rhythm. <laughs> that's yeah. right. If you don't know what the fuck you're gonna rap about next, you can just flipping them off, ripping them off, doing my thing, <laughs> yeah. you know, whatever. Just say some random shit. If it's in rhythm and it sounds good, it's gonna work. And by the yeah. flip side, what I was gonna say is exactly in line with you, bro. Because what I was gonna say is you can have the dopest bars in the world. You can have the craziest, poetic, conceptual, mm. next level, the triple, quadruple entendre shit in the world. But if you can't present it in rhythm, then go be a spoken word artist or go Facts. write a poetry anthology. Facts. You got to find another job because it's not going to work in hip hop. Hip hop is rhythm and poetry, right? That's yeah. rap, rhythm and poetry. So if you can't present it in, in a way that's going to sound good and make people do this and go, uh, then you're not doing shit. So, you know, it doesn't mean you're not a master of words. It just means you got to find a different outlet. Because uh, it, it, this hip hop shit makes you do this and go, yeah. uh. How, how many times have we <laughs> right? talked about that, Stevie? That uh, that charisma factor, and I think that's what it is, Harry. Is that rhythm and that flow helps contribute to that charisma when you're delivering the bars. And you know, sometimes right. when we talk about some of the the great lyricists in the underground that don't get as much attention, and sometimes they just don't have the same charisma as some of the more successful mainstream artists. And I think when, when we right. really get an elite artist is someone that can combine sort of that, that charisma, that flow, that rhythm with the wordplay, with the bars, then you're dealing with a fucking no doubt. all rounder, aren't you? You're dealing with someone and, that's and just I, crazy versatile. And also with his audience as well, bro, because the majority of your audience is not going to catch these doubles and triples that you throwing at them. You know what I'm saying? That's why you need people like us to like slow it down, let, let them know what you're actually doing. But when you deal yeah. with the rhythmic flow, that's going to captivate a larger audience because they, they, everybody gets feeling from that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so no if you, 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 you throw in banana, you throw banana with a rhythmic flow, they're going to they gonna ride all over that shit. But you try to double, triple that shit, like what the fuck did Harry Mack just say? They gonna, it's going to go over their head. So you can't yeah. be sitting there freestyling for 10 hours going over everybody's head. They're all going to be fucking bored. So you just... Man, that's, I'm saying, that's fire, I'm saying... Bro. Thank God for you motherfuckers, man. That's all I'm saying. Thank God for you cats, bro, because you got everybody. Actually, I mean it. I mean it, by the way. Thank you. Because uh, you guys, man, are, are actually breaking the shit down. And what it is, man, is it's like a it's like a, a college music appreciation class. They would have these, you know, music yeah. appreciation. It's for people who are in like a different major, but they like music. And they want to kind of understand what's going on. And like, they, you know, you play like a, a, a Beatles song or something and be like, what instruments do you hear? Right? Yeah. Like, what's really going on? Oh, what's exciting about this part? Is it repeating? Right? And they start to like break it down and you start to like, oh, wow. And when you leave that class, you, you never hear music the same way again because you appreciate yep. it deeper. 
And that's yep. what you all are providing for us rappers out here who are, who are obsessed with poetry and bars and wordplay. You're helping other people who don't know anything about that. You're changing their whole, it's a paradigm shift for them. And now every time they listen to rap, they're listening deeper and they're appreciating more what's going on. So so shout out to both of y'all, man, because uh, you do you're we get that shit, man. How do we get that shit, bro? It's like we, we actually have students, bro. Like they actually go to right. like bar breakdown class. They've been listening to fucking like, songs like for a teacher. years. Yeah. They they, yeah. they they listen they listen to a song for years growing up and not even know what the song is really about. They don't really they haven't had right. that ear before. So that's dope as fuck for Knox and Harry because people have a whole different appreciation of what you're doing. You yeah, know what I'm no saying? Doubt. It ain't it yep. ain't just it ain't just the way it sounds. Is what he's saying is hitting different. That gives you like a makes your fan base fuck with you that much more tough. Yeah, because nothing one thousand percent. Nothing's more frustrating as an artist when you invest so much time into the pen. And you have so much hidden layers and depth to it, and then it just flies over people's heads all the time, and it doesn't get appreciated. So you know that's right. that's definitely one of the things that inspires me with my reactions. And I do feel like I'm teaching a class a lot of times, and I always feel like right. if if I get like just one or two comments, it's like, damn, I've heard this song a thousand times, but I never thought about it in that way. Like if I just take right. someone and help them appreciate the artist like a little bit more when they're really right. doing dope shit, then, then I've, I've done my job as a reactor. And that, that to me is, is what's most rewarding about it really. And I get to cheat though, because man. we, we talk about cheat codes, you know, you fucking drumming, cheating your whole fucking life, setting yourself up for all the <laughs> success, man. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm right. cheating. I'm definitely cheating my, my ass on the exam right now because I'm a fucking rapper. Right. So I, I write right. these bars. So I know what I'm listening for and looking for Stevie on the other hand, yeah. can't cheat at all. Stevie's the one just fucking trying to react to this shit, break it down without being an artist, man. I mean, Stevie, yeah, I, that's I, a good point. I think you have a much harder job, man. Yo, Stevie, uh, you never wanted to, like, write some bars after all this, man? Like, were you ever moved to be like, I want to try? Or not? Maybe, you always... but I just, I mean, I definitely would try, but this has gotten overwhelming at this point. I don't have enough time to sit down and do shit like that. That's Harry, why I'm can always you teach him? Applying. You can teach I, that's him, That's why Harry. I'm applauding fucking... That's another question I was going to ask, bro. Do you feel like... Anybody can fucking freestyle or they have to have something in them to be able to fucking do that shit? That's this a good question. Is, That's a uh, good question. This is a great question, man, because, you know, I don't know. Like, the, I don't know the answer. I have my own theories on it. I believe, well, let me start with this, all right? Because this is the question, like, in my mind. Like, when it comes to talking about freestyling, especially for me as an educator, like, this is one of those questions. It's kind of like the blank slate, or is it about your, is it nurture or nature? Are you mm. born to be the way you're going to be? Or is it because of the experiences you have in your life? Or is it some combination in the middle? And I don't, you know, and, and even like at the cutting edge of science, there are theories and there are, there are ideas about how it works, but nobody necessarily can say definitively, hey, this is what it is, right? Um, and it's the same with this. I'll say this though. My first freestyles were not dope, <laughs> right? Like when I freestyled at age 12, I don't think, and there's no recordings of it, sadly, but I'm fairly certain if we heard that now, we wouldn't be like, oh, he's special. He's going to do something with that. It was yeah. just, it was nothing. You know I mean? It, yeah. was, it was probably trash. You know what I mean? Uh, I didn't give a fuck because I was 12 and I was having so much fucking fun. And I was trying to imitate what I was seeing on 106 in Park and Rap City, the basement. And like, you know, it wasn't about being dope or being the, the greatest. It was just about like trying to express ourselves and have fun. Um, but uh, I am self-taught and it required structured practice for me to achieve the level that I'm at. So because of now, but I may have had a spark for improv, you know, and, and what I and I think really what that might mean is that like my genetic code or the way that my brain is set up, um, it's wired like to be good at, at uh, rapid fire, constantly shifting yeah. attention. I mean, it's like, I'm a little too good at shifting attention, right? In a lot of areas, yeah. it's a problem. You know what I mean? Like, you know, I'm everywhere, man. Like in school, it was like, oh, I can't listen to this shit. Like I'm looking yeah. somewhere else. I'm ever, you know? So um, in a lot of fields, it would be a weakness. It just so happens that in what I do, it's a superpower. So if you don't have that, you know, ability to quickly jump, then um, maybe you have less of a, you know, a knack for it or, or a talent for it, right? But I still think that anybody who worked really, really hard and practiced these techniques in an organized way uh, over an extended period of time, anybody could become a competent freestyler to where yeah. you would at least be the dopest motherfucker at the house party. You know okay. what I'm saying? Like yeah, if, yeah, if, yeah, if yeah. the cypher popped off and, and it was a party or whatever, you would make everybody go, damn, bro, you really do this shit, right? Yeah, it doesn't yeah, mean yeah, you're going to yeah. go 
have a career or go on tour or be known as a rapper. You might forever have your regular job and shit like that. But I do really think that um, anybody could become really solid. If Harry, they, if Harry just work. sold his whole educational program right there. That's it. That's that, that, There's your ad <laughs> right there, bro. Yeah, yeah. It's just the thing, that, the thing that separates you is that I feel like you were just equipped, you know, naturally with the tools that make you the best. Like, just being yeah. and witty like that, that's, like, freestyling is different than what, you, what you're what you doing, bro. Like, you're not just fucking freestyling, man. It's got that whole improv element to it, like how you, mm-hmm. you engage the audience, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like when you are in front of these random people in Omega, like, you, you try to look at the type of person you're talking to. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're, and and you're off their vibe and their body, body language, you're you're giving them what you think that's going to entertain them. It ain't just you. Right. Give me some words. I'm hit you back with it. Like you, you got the right. whole vibe with them. And that's 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 that that's that next level shit. No doubt. You know, I appreciate it, man. And it's crazy because it's like. It is like the perfect storm. When I look back at my life, I'm just like, oh, yeah, okay, that makes sense. Like, I did this at this phase, and that's where I learned this part of it. And it all came together because it was like being obsessed with hip, falling in love with rapping, like the very same year of my life that I started playing the drums. Like, that's crazy, right? So from the beginning, they were hand in hand. And we're talking about when I was in fifth grade, right? And before that, even when I was in third grade, Right. And I'm just go, what, playing the violin or whatever, loving music, but not knowing I'm in third grade. I'm a little fucking kid. My mom goes, Harry, you have to see this guy on the TV because he is freaking incredible and you have to see it. And I was like, OK. And, and so uh, even though it was more of an adult show, uh, sort of, I, I still got to see it in third grade because my mom thought it was important. And that show was whose line is it anyway? And the person oh. she was talking about was Wayne Brady. Yeah, and Wayne Brady, so was a yeah. Wayne yes, Brady brought the person down from the audience. Oh, he's he's a genius. I love that show. He's truly brilliant. And so uh, he would learn a few things about the person and craft that into an improvised song with a mm. chorus and everything. And he's singing and stuff. And yeah. it's like he has a great singing voice. Um, and so he's just like an unfathomable talent. And at third grade, I just remember, I just looked at my mom and said, how's he do it? It's fake. How's he do it? Like they give him the words ahead of time or they plan it out. It's a plant. Like even at third grade, I was like, nope, fuck that. No way. And my yeah. mom was like, no, he's just that brilliant. And like my head exploded. And like from that day on, you know, my mom would be like, yo, make up a song about your breakfast. And I would do it. Make up my first song ever is called Dustpan Man. Here's how it went. Dustpan Man at your service. Dustpan Man here to work. Is this stupid? And that's it. It looped ad infinitum. <laughs> and that was because my mom was sweeping and she was like, Harry, go grab the dustpan. Be my dustpan man. Make up a song about it. <laughs> you know what I mean? And so like that was in third grade. I was like making shit up. That was Harry, Harry's, Harry's shit, first you know? hit single, uh, Dustpan Man. That's the first time I that's the first time I've ever revealed that, by the way. Yeah, Dustpan Man, bro, is blowing up in, in fucking Hong Kong, dude, top of the chart. Um, <laughs> no, nah, but, you know, like... Sweep that, that shit up. Those pieces, and there's so there's so many, you know, like, in my life where it's just like, oh, yeah, that's where I learned that thing. You know, uh, I worked at a call center, and it was, like, a horrible job. Like, you know, it was, like, during college, and then it was, like, the college, like, call the alumni for donations, right? Oh, and no. afterwards, like... I was like the super senior. I was there like two years after I graduated from USC with these little like 18 year old freshmen there, like working with me. I was like 24. Van like, Wilder running around. Cause I was broke. Yeah. Cause I was broke, you know, and I was trying to make it as a jazz drummer and I was struggling. And so I still needed this, this call center job. And like, I was like scraping by bro. Like my rent was like $700 and I made like $900 a month, you know? And I just like, that, it was just like all the money that came in went out immediately. And I was like, how the fuck am I ever going to make it? And, uh, you know, when I was there though, cause I, I talked shit on this job, right? Whatever. But the fact of the matter is I learned so much. And when you talk about how I see the people on Omegle and I kind of like can catch their vibe and reflect mm. it, right? And make them feel comfortable. Oh, okay. I yeah. learned that from the fucking call center. Because yeah. you have to make rapport. Yeah. You have to yeah. do sales. You have to do yeah. sales. So whatever their vibe is, I match it. If it's some guy yeah. who picks up and goes, yo, yo, what's up? And I'll be like, hey, what's poppin', man? How you feeling? Right? If it's some old woman who says hello, then I'm like, hello, ma'am. How are you feeling today? Right? Or whatever it is. It's like you you learn how to mirror that energy and, and present in a way that's going to make everybody feel comfortable and give you a chance. So it's like my life is crazy. When I look back on the way that all the stars align, I really do storm. feel like it's it's a perfect storm. You manifest it's a perfect, yeah, perfect storm. And I'm doing, that's dope, bro. I'm doing the ideal thing that I could be doing to maximize all of my talents. If you package them all up, like everything I've learned in life, if you put it all together in a blender, it would be like 
Harry Mack, the freestyler, you know, like it's That's the crazy. perfect medium. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You need to write a book on that shit, bro. Because <laughs> I think, no doubt, real, bro. I, I, for I, real. I, 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 I think don't know if it, I can focus long enough to do that. <laughs> I mean, what it what it is is you obviously put in the hours. I mean, you've put in countless hours now. But right, it's it's kind of like almost any any avenue in life. Like talk about athletes, right? There's I think there's a mix of how much you're willing to work at it and hone your craft, but also you just have to yeah. have some natural talents. And abilities and and like the way that you're saying is that your yeah. sort of natural things that you found that you excel at they apply well to freestyling you know being able to read a room quickly being able to read people having a rapport with people um right. improvising being self-conscious and aware of your stage presence you know because you are a right. performer each and every fucking time that you go when you're doing it live and a lot of times you're doing it live for thousands of thousands of people i know you don't have like a stadium full but you are the equivalent of doing right. that. So you are right. you are just hyper yeah, aware of processing so much while trying to still freestyle right. on point, while still trying to do your rhythms <laughs> and do your bars and everything else. So I think I think it is a combination yeah, yeah. of of the work that you've put in to hone it. Like you've said, if you look at the the Venice series and you look at now, but also there's there's still natural yeah. talents that help you progress and evolve as well. Yeah. Yeah, I is think there, you're right, man. I think you're right. Is there anything that you feel like you need to get better at? <laughs> um making albums <laughs> you know making songs um like that's something uh, that you know uh, i want to do um but like but, freestyling uh, bro like literally oh, what, yeah, else, yeah. what else is there what else is there to fucking do bro like you fucking did everything yeah. bro nah man nah there's, there's always more to do man i mean like look my thing is like my brain like where i like want to take it is just like stupid you know what i mean like like because my whole thing was always like make the freestyle sound like the records that yeah, you love yeah. you know? and so it does in some ways and it sounds like certain records right like for sure like but it doesn't sound like uh to pimp a butterfly <laughs> you know what i mean like a conceptual narrative album you're, you're pulling on these like, heartstrings now symbolism. you start talking about kendrick trying, lamar you're, you're gonna do to that to steven you're trying to be you trying to be you try to be the Beethoven of freestylers, dog. Yeah, that's, that's, fuck, what that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Cause like, yo, cause like fucking Bach, you know, JS Bach, yep. Johann yeah. Sebastian. <laughs> yo, yeah. Was that Johann? <laughs> uh, no, but Bach like improvised like fugues and shit in front of kings that sounded mm. like the most beautiful classical music you'd ever heard. You know, I mean, granted, he was like an indentured servant, and like if he didn't deliver, they'd probably like beat him up or some shit. But like, still, man, he did that. And so, like, my whole thing is like, yo, how could it be crazier? How could I tell a story top to bottom? How could I do a fucking freestyle opera, bro? Like, how could I what literally do me? some shit with no filler? Freestyle like, opera? Nothing about me being dope. But, bro, yeah, who you knows? did? I'm but, bro. Opera. The fucking one you did with Buddy, who the dude who lost his girl to COVID. Remember that one? Word. That's like the shit you're talking about right now, though. Like the yeah. shit you're talking about, how you want to do. You literally just did that shit, bro. Yeah, that's the level. Did, you, did you did you see that shit, Knox? No, I haven't seen it yet. I'm still early. Bro, he, I'm he still Omega early call, in my journey, he man. Call, I'm, he I'm he watching a, the progression, bro, bro. He a he Omega he Omega call a dude. And buddy, he he looked depressed. You could tell he was going yeah. through it. Hmm. And he told Mac like he just lost his girl to COVID like a few months ago. And Mac, yeah. you know, he told her he told him his name, what happened to her, where they was. He was like a step kid, stepfather to the kid, bro. And right. this motherfucker, and my girl watched that shit with me. She started, she started crying when she saw that shit, bro. Yeah. Wow. Like you, you fucking yeah. freestyled that shit, bro. That was wild, dog. Wow. Yeah. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. like this, this, the shit you're talking about that you want to do, like you low key are already there now. I yeah. guess you it would have to be outside this Omega shit. Like you got to sit down and just think right. about some topic that's important to you and just go ham because you already got exactly. it in you, bro. You can make that shit happen now. Have you have, have oh, you man, ever thought about I can't taking? Tell you how much I appreciate you saying that, Stevie. For have, real. Have you ever thought about that's, taking that's like fast. a real quick? I will go say. Oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, no, I was I was just gonna say, have you ever thought about taking like a really dope freestyle and taking some of those elements and morphing that into a song and taking that that substance that's already there and some of that work that just worked really well that you 100%. came up with in the moment and converting it that way. Hundred percent. That that's what I'm doing right now. Like that's what right. we're working on right now. So I am working on my next project and basically I'm freestyling it, not top to bottom like one take necessarily, but um, I've realized, man, that. The way I write is by improvising, you yeah. know, like straight up. Like it's not gonna be better 
if I sit there and write it, it's actually yeah. going to be worse because yeah. so much of the creativity and the rhythm and the cadences and the delivery, so much of what I access when I'm improvising, just like eludes me when I'm sitting there looking at a blank page. It's, it's all about process. Yes. You know, like you look at Lil Wayne, you know, he would just go in the booth and just start rapping. Jay-Z. And then when he ran out of something, he'd stop. Yeah, Jay-Z, same thing. Juice World, uh, famously freestyled songs top to bottom with the hook yeah. and everything. So, you know, um, I've realized that that's me. Like, I relate to that. And and so yeah. um, a lot of it was me for years putting pressure on myself to have to adapt to some process that mm. doesn't work for me. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, um, it was if me it ain't broke, there, don't fix it. That's it. That's it. And yo, I appreciate you t- mentioning the um, the cat from Omegle Bars 18 who lost who 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 lost his fiance because that was a huge moment for me. And th- there were actually a few moments in the series, and there's been a few moments in general, whether it's on Happy Hour or Omegle Bars or just connecting with people, where it showed me the power of freestyle to have a deep emotional impact. Mm. And that is. Um, you know, songwriting. That is the next evolution of it. I think that is like where I'm meant to bring the shit where it's like, yo, it's not all about me being dope and everybody else being whack. Sometimes it's something much more important than that. And in that moment, I felt like I have to rise to the occasion and do this for this person right now um, because this is important. And to see the reaction that 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 clip got um, was was super dope and definitely got me fired up. That shit was crazy. That shit was crazy, bro. It's it's, it's about that human element and that connection. I think that's that's the most important thing with songwriting is can you connect with your audience and and can you resonate with them? So hang on, I'm writing this shit down. So Omega Bars 18, that's going on Mark's list of Harry shit to do. That's happening. Yeah, you definitely you just you just think best. Hell yeah. You think best. You think best on the spot, bro. That's just just what it is. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. Just let me go. I got it. Yeah. I will say too that um. Because obviously we know my lane where I excel is is the written game, right? But um, right. there's things when you put on a beat, right? And what I'll do is I'll just turn the mic on or, you know, when I'm in studio yeah. and you just – I'll put the beat on first and I'll just start finding my flows in that way. I'll start finding my pockets that way and right. start like just improvising it, right? Then I'll go back and listen to it and listen and pick out the shit that I really like and then start writing around that. Because yeah. cause definitely there's that tendency yeah. when you start writing – you don't you don't get as experimental with some of those flows. You you just you you can't feel it as much when you're writing because you're you're focused on putting the words to the paper to you know making it connect. Yeah. I definitely notice that I'm a lot more free. And sometimes if I'm struggling with the writing process, I just I put that shit down and just go in. Yeah. And feel it in a different way. Just a just a I different process. I feel that man. Yeah, for me it's like writing is so granular and detail oriented hmm. for me um that i'll overthink myself into this rabbit hole that's that like yeah. doesn't actually work as well and and freestyling on the contrary is so big picture like freestyling i can feel where i'm at in the structure of the verse and i'm like oh, okay we're building up we're building up okay it's time to get out bring it to a hook gone right and i can see all that and i feel it evolving so i know how to like um make it sound good when i'm writing sometimes i'll just go down this multi-syllabic rabbit hole you know what i mean yeah, where yeah. like i it's it's like it's impressive like it's crazy you know what i mean like I, i'm finished with it and i'm like all right like this is definitely like a dope exercise but yeah. i don't think anybody really wants to hear this it won't, shit. It won't like it's just you know people. what i'm saying yeah. it's like yeah i go down these rabbit holes it's too much it's too much time i'm like yo don't give me that much time let because otherwise you know freestyling is perfect for me because it lets me be in that have you ever heard of this concept, Maya? M-A-Y-A, most advanced yet acceptable. So like huh. when you're rolling out new technology, you got to think about Maya. Like you might be able to come out with the craziest phone ever that can read your thoughts, but people aren't there yet. So just do voice to text, you know, that'll work. It's the most advanced yet acceptable. And so when I'm freestyling, it puts the clock on it. it there's a time limit and there's all these restraints. But within that, I've learned how to get crazy with it and flip mm. shit and be pretty advanced. But it's always going to be acceptable. You know what I mean? It's not going to go too fucking deep and just be self-indulgent to where I'm basically just jerking off and being like, look how crazy I can rhyme. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> uh, Mac, what's, is, is, is there like an end-all goal at the end of this shit? I know right now you want to get on like the, the, the Bach type shit right now, but is there yeah. like a big picture at all this or are you just taking it day by day to see what it can turn into? Man, honestly, it feels more like the second one. I'm taking it day by day. Like, I don't know. You know, I'm, I'm, uh, 
my life is so different now than I envisioned it even last year, two years, three years ago. So it's hard for me to say where I'm going with it. I do know that um, if I'm able to do my craft and support myself off the strength of my craft, I'm a happy motherfucker. You know what I mean? Mm, like, period. Yeah. If I'm doing that, I'm winning. So as long as I can keep that going, I'm so incredibly blessed to be here and to be full time doing what I love. Like, can you imagine that? I mean, it's insane. And it doesn't mean I love every second of what I have to do, right, to, to run my business. But all in all, man, I recognize how incredibly fucking lucky I am to be here doing this uh, full time. And so um, if I can keep that going, I'm going to be happy, man. And that's, that's that. And, you know, obviously I want to expand my platform, reach more people. I want to lift people up, you know, on a global scale. I want to create shit that people consider legendary. You know, yeah. I have all those aspirations that, um, that, uh, that we all have as artists and human beings and creators. And, you know, I'm trying to better myself and, 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 and take it as far as I can. But end of the day, man, if I'm here existing off the strength of my art, then I'm fucking killing the game. Yeah, no, you go. You, you can do this till you fucking eighty, bro. You said that shit. <laughs> Imagine that, yeah. Mac out here doing Omegos till he's eighty six years old. Come on, bro. I'm already great. Fuck it. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me two words. Give me two words. <laughs> fucking beat him over the head with a wheelchair. Uh, it'll be like the grandpa pranks on YouTube, but yeah, hey, it's like the grandpa freestyle pranks, except I'm actually that dude. Like it's not makeup. <laughs> like I really am the fucking grandpa, yeah. <laughs> bro. You got to fucking, you got to go to Sway and do five fingers, bro, and do the best one, dog. You know you can smash that shit, put all them Dude, motherfuckers I'm, in the mm. dirt. I'm so ready, man. Let's go. Yeah, shout out to Sway, bro, I, bro if you're watching make this. It happen. <laughs> Somebody make it happen. Get that motherfucker his 15 fingers. He going to eat them all. We got to make Sway in the morning <laughs> That's happen. it, bro. That's three hands. Bro. 100%. 100%. Hell yeah. Well, listen, yep. we're starting, we're starting to reach the, uh, the end of the show and I've been keeping an eye on chat and obviously Harry, right. we can't let you go. I don't know. We didn't do any sound tests or anything, but I can't let you go without yeah. doing some type of, of freestyle for the people, whether it's acapella or whatever you think you can, you can make oh, work you. for us, man. Oh, I got, come on, man. I keep the beats ready, bro. I keep the beats ready. I'm <laughs> Hold on, here, I gotta, man. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta turn my stream record on. Fuck this. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Uh, so yeah. All right. So, so, so give me some, what, what, what are we freestyling about? Whew. You got to put Maya in there. I've never fucking heard Maya in my life. Now you got this new buzzword Maya. stuck in my head. I think Maya's got to go in there. Stevie, you got to give him one. Yeah. I'm gonna look at chat. I'm gonna see if chat's got uh -huh. anything for us. While Stevie, uh, Stevie uh, I want you to rap about how you want to be the next Bach dog. Like that level of fucking. Oh, yeah. Bach. Yeah. 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 Got this bitch, man. Johan. Yeah. Johan um, Sebastian. And um, we definitely uh, we need sway I in the morning. I, I want, oh, facts, yeah. facts, facts, facts. No. Um, yeah. So five, five fingers. Yeah. Yeah. Sway, Bach, Maya. There it is. And uh, the nation. The nation. That's the it. nation. That's well, of course, of course, of course. All right, we got it. Uh, Come on, Harry. Let's bless see. Bless the people. A... I got y'all, man. We're gonna go with uh, fuck it. We're gonna go with one of my. One of my classic beats that I pull out, man. Let's get it. Do it. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah, ah, yeah. Come on. Hey, y'all can hear the beat? Yeah. It's good. Obviously, it's good level. Obviously. Otherwise, if you're not into silence, that's crazy. All right, yo. Hey, <laughs> hey. Hey, hey, I'm on the track and I'm wildin'. They like, yeah, we can hear it. We ain't not in the silence. H Mac off the top. I'm here to catch rack. I got the people nodding so hard, they snapping their necks. I'm on another planet. I'm only known for spitting fire. Most advanced yet acceptable. We spell it out as Maya. H Mac, y'all know I'm advanced yet acceptable. But if I try to write my bars, I'm way too technical. Yeah, I was like, I forgot where their ears at. Yeah, it's kind of dope, but nobody wants to hear that. Hold up, right up off the mental, it gets born. Check the way that I perform. I'm wear a song form cause I'm freestyling thinking big picture I see the forest the ill improviser that they never get bored with yeah y'all know we rewriting like all the policies now Maya normally be applying the technology like phones that you rolling out that's what I told him about but it be applying to the rapper who's the coldest now then again it makes sense cause when I spit I stay fly it's still about technology you know my brain is AI <laughs> rapper stepping to me I'ma leave him scarred
gone live. This is not a fucking brain, homie. It's a hard drive. CPU, GPU, Intel, 19000. I'm your hero, hero, hero. Used to be the weirdo. Now I let my beard grow like my bars grow. It's Sage Mac. I blow your mind with the hard flow. Here we are, though. Man, you know I kill a rap song. Yo, all three of us, we got the caps on. Yeah, y'all know I'm flowing for sure. I got my back with Stevie. Got the camo going to war. And not yeah. flipping for the brand. Got the logo intact. Oh, beast with the speech. All my flows too fat. Yeah, coming off the tip of this, we never gonna stop. Everything I drop off the tip be sounding hot. Yeah, when it comes to bars, man, you know I got a lot. Trying to be the greatest like 3K or Black Thought. Then again, I want to be Rock him and hit the spot. Wait, nah, I'm oh. trying to be the freestyle J.S. Bach. Yeah, Mac all up in it. I'm going to do my thing. Said I'm improvising fucking sonnets when I play for kings. Yeah, and y'all know that you about to get shredded. It's life or death. If I make a mistake, I get beheaded. That's the reason why I get loose when I kill the scene. Because if I make a mistake, they'll throw me in the guillotine. Yeah, to me. yeah. hey, yo, y'all know I'm about to rock songs. Hey, yo, big love to Johan Sebastian. Back all up in it, man. You know I'm working magical, tactical lyrics that take you back to all the classical vibes. Getting live, man. They love the way I'm rocking your classical life. Bach, I'm composing the opera. Yeah, what you thought it was. I begin to rage, breaking out the cage, doing crazy lyrics when on stage in a major way. Fuck him, yo, my brain's a 12 gauge. Lyrical bullets, you played out like a mullet. I do this to the fullest. Microphone, I'm here to control it. Yeah, I'm never slipping. Check out how I'm ripping. Rap is just assistant. They like Scotty Pippen. I'm Mike Ooh. Jordan. Yo, check the way I'm rhyme reporting. I'm here right now with the freestyle creations. Blazing, hella MCs up on the nation. Yeah, and y'all know what I fucking do again. Spewing flam, this the fucking national UN congregation worldwide. We about to bring the planet together. The mic, I'm about to slam it forever. This man is too clever. Rappers just can't manage whatever. I'm tougher than leather. Y'all know I'm a busted and shredger. I'm master shredder. Underground, I'll be up in the sewer. From the brain, the thunder pound like some fucking manure. Oh. HMAC, never <laughs> shitty. Out the game, I'll be running you. All up on the industry, I'm about to take a number two. But still, I'll be number one pissing rappers off. Yeah, you can't even get the gist. You catch it soft. Listen, I'm coming through properly all day. Hey, yo, this here is a shout out to Sway. Y'all know my lyrics last forever and they linger. Y'all know that I went for 10 hours, fuck five fingers. Yo, I'm here to let them all know. I'm earning stripe, plus I'm difficult to find like Waldo. Hey, yo, yeah. people love the way I'm performing. I'm about to take it from the corner up to Sway in the morning. Yeah, H-Man, compared to me, these rappers weaker. I got famous just from improvising with the Bluetooth speaker. Went from there to sitting next to Joey Bad. Went from there to sitting next to Kendrick. Couldn't believe it was going mad. Hopped up on the festival lineup because my rhyme's tough. After that, I was swelling up there on Ellen. Y'all can't believe the growth. And now we do the most. A million subs, but I feel I'm not coming close to my actual mm. potential when I'm rapping from the mental. Had to do it with Knox Hill and Stevie. That shit's essential. Let's go. Ooh. Listen, man, I don't, I don't give a fuck what anybody hey. says. You cannot. Bro. There is no amount of practice Bro. that gets you to that fucking level. Bro. I'm sorry. Bro. I'm sorry, hey, fucking man. Waldo bars. That uh, I, I fucking was hey, about to walk away. I was gonna walk away. <laughs> I mean, you remembered everything. You brought up the fucking UN, like how I opened it in the intro. Jesus Christ, man! Fucking number two, shitting on him, pissing number one. Bro. We're gonna have to break this shit I'm down. Bro, <laughs> facts, facts, no doubt, man. Yo, well, look, beast, man. bro. I appreciate you guys so much for, for having me on here. And I appreciate what you're doing for, for YouTube and for the hip hop community at large, breaking down the bars, letting people know what's really going on. And, and uh, hey, this is killing dope, it. man. So I'm keep happy to come it, by Harry. anytime. This was a great time, man. Yeah, yeah. Really enjoyed you having stats, you on. Bro. No doubt. Yeah. Everybody fire emoji My in pleasure, chat, man. please, Hi. for Harry Mack. Thank you so much, Harry. Shout out to the nation. Stevie, sign us off, Run it up, please. run it up. Hey, man, appreciate everybody pulling up, especially you, Mac. Fucking goat solidified, bro. Anybody fuck with you? I'll talk this shit for you. You can be the humble uh, one, bro. There you go. I need, I need you as my hype man, bro. I need you as my hype man. For real. Yeah, let's do it. All right, man. There it we is. We out. All right, take care.